Hi everyone, hope you're having a great day on Monday and it's a holiday for some people. And today we're cooking some turkey breast tenderloins in our crock pot for dinner tonight. I'm making something real easy. Um, the kids usually cook, but today I decided I was going to cook because it was easier. <laughs> and they get to clean up. That's the best part. Um, my name is Angela Lowe. In case I didn't introduce myself, so I'm introducing myself. So today we're going to make turkey, turkey breast tenderloins in the crock pot with some potatoes. So here we go. You can come over here. My daughter's holding the camera for me today. So first thing we're gonna do is I'm like it has a pill open to me. In case y'all can't see this here. Turkey breast tenderloins. I'm cooking too because my kids eat a lot. And there's like so much I can do about it. And I've already washed my hands, so we're good to go. So I'm just gonna throw this in there. Now we've already pre-measured everything, but I'm going to tell you basically what we're putting in here. So I'm putting two in because, of course, with two boys and one girl and my husband and myself, we, you know, they tend to eat a lot. And these are, like, these are on sale at Kroger, so they didn't cost that much, so I did really good at that. So you're looking at a meal basically under $16, basically. So I'm going to go ahead and throw the potatoes in. We already cut the potatoes up. And I know some people... Don't eat potatoes, so if you don't like potatoes, find something else. If I'm not going to eat potatoes, I'll make myself some squash afterwards. So here's some rosemary. I'm going to sprinkle some rosemary in. Salt. Pepper. Minced garlic. Everybody loves garlic. <laughs> butter. Gotta have the butter, people. Cherry gold, that's all we use in this house if we can. White wine. Now, it says white wine, so I'm going to use white wine, people. No, I'm not drinking it, so don't look at me funny. <laughs> I'm just going to throw it in here. And yes, I'm using a whole bottle because this is a huge crock pot. So, and some chicken broth. It's actually bone broth. So I'm going to throw that in also. And whatever doesn't, the, as far as the broth goes, my daughter likes to use it with noodles later or something like that. So it always works out really, really well in the end. So now, I'm going to put this to the side here. One second, I need a bowl. And if you look, our lovely microwave is going to be replaced today. We, it just came in today. FedEx delivered our new microwave. So we're excited. So I'm going to mix it up a little bit, make sure all the spices get in there. And then I'm going to turn the crock pot on high so we can have it ready in about three hours or so. I'm going to put the lid on. And voila guys, that's how easy that was. Crock pot, dinner. We'll have dinner in about three, three and a half, four hours. What? Jennifer Brooks says hi. Oh, hi Jennifer. My daughter's holding the camera so I can't see what anything says. Hi Jennifer, hope you're having a great day. It was really easy, especially if you have a big family. It's a lot easier to do a crock pot. Our, our lovely new ninja. That's a lovely thing we like to use in our house too. So I will show you guys later what it actually looks like. And we will go from there. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And let me know if you want the recipe. I'll be more than happy to send it to you. Just send me a private message and I'll send you the recipe. Have a good day, guys. Bye.